Hi there. This is Diane Hanks with a special Pulling It All Together makeover session. I wasn't planning on doing any tutorials today, but I am telling you, I just love it when I have a day that I just seem to just get a flood of compliments, which for me as a beauty consultant and a makeover queen really means a lot to me because that's kind of what I do. I love it to make people delighted when they, you know, look in my direction. And the other thing I love it is that it inspires people that they can realize what a beautiful thing it is to unveil your beauty as a woman. So I wanted to just kind of show you some of the things that I, I did as I pulled my outfit together. I planned it last night. I laid it out on the bed in my other room. I hunted through some of my older pieces of jewelry and <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of show you what I did and guide you step by step about about what it is I'm going to highlight. I'm going to talk about as you pull it all together with um, hair, jewelry, wardrobe, accessories, shoes, um, your fingernails, and a little tip for your closet, I'll come up with that, and then also for um, your nails and stuff, color on your nails. So let me just kind of show you what I got going on here today. It's a little knit skirt with a nice ribbing, and these are my boots I wore. Oh, burgundy sort of boots. Believe it or not, I, I started this with my nails. <laughs> you know, you never know what it is that's going to inspire your outfit. Sometimes it's your hair, sometimes it's your neckline, sometimes it's your shoes. Uh, this time it was my nails. Like I, I had painted them last night or the night before. And I go, oh, I don't want to change my nail polish again. Um, so it was my nails that inspired this whole ensemble today because uh, I remembered I have this cute little jacket I got this and then I mean it all just kind of went forth from there so a couple of things I'm not sure if you got a good look at my jewelry but I sort of had a little epiphany about that today in one of my other tutorials I talked about jewelry and how I read an article that a woman should wear 11 pieces of jewelry and I was contemplating because I just had a jewelry show this week and w women love to buy sets of jewelry uh, for example here's what we would call a set and oh it's just beautiful it's got uh, earrings it's got a bracelet and it has a necklace now see this is absolutely beautiful but that's three pieces you know necklace earrings bracelet and I would never wear that just that because it doesn't let your personality pop I would pair this with another gold link chain I'd wear it with other gold um, other gold bracelets I'd also maybe put um, different earrings than the ones that match this just to give it some interest. Design and texture and combining those things is so interesting to the eyes. And all of this thing about wardrobe and your hair and your nails, and that's what it is. It's a beautiful treat for your eyes. And, you know, if I didn't realize after so many years of unveiling my beauty for people to see. I didn't realize how much it lights people up when they see a beautiful woman. I used to visit an elderly woman who um, really surprised me by a comment that she made one day. And it was, I, I never really considered the, how great a power it is to be beautiful if you use it for good in the world. She said to me, uh, um, I used to live in Massachusetts. Her name was May, and she hardly got out at all. And so I was one of the few people that she would see from the outside 
in a month. And it had been very snowy for quite some time. And so I came in to do my visit with her. I visited with her once a month and I let, you know, I wanted to make sure that she was okay. And she just said something to me that really, really opened my eyes to realize what a gift it is to really unveil your beauty and to take the take the time and put your put a little bit of energy into the little details. It's not shallow, it's not superficial. It literally lightens people's minds. It lightens their hearts. It gives joy. And she said, Oh, Diane, it is such a joy for me to see you. It always really lifts my spirits to wonder what you're going to wear next or, you know, what you're going to look like. It's just, it's just so fun for me to have you come and visit me. Thank you so much. That was such an, a lovely compliment from her. You know, it was just such a lovely thing. And I had a, another elderly woman tell me something very similar recently. That other incident happened years ago. And uh, long before I sold jewelry or long before I did um, makeup or skincare professionally, it was just how I was. I've always loved being a woman and I've loved getting dolled up. Well, what I realized when I was putting together these <clears throat> choices is that when you have <clears throat> something more than a set together of jewelry. You allow your personality and your different memories and special pieces to come together. Um, I have a piece here that my sister made for me. My sister Jenny made this for me. And then this piece right here, there's a whole nother story in this piece. This is antique typewriter keys and it spells my name, Diane. And I had this specially made for me. But, you know, jewelry is not only about the fashion part of it. Jewelry is to help us remember that we are loved as women. And that being feminine is a joy to bring to our own spirits and also to the world. So let me talk also a little bit about this necklace. I chose this look to pick up the gray hues in this multicolored you know, jacket thing, but I wanted to show how just with a couple of simple basic pieces in your wardrobe, you can really expand what things look like and have more choice. Okay, I chose for this particular look today uh, this silver six strand necklace with this cherry jasper slide. And they call these slides because they slide Whee! like that. And it's actually, I'm just going to slide it right off. Okay, so here's the necklace that I put it with for this look today. It's got six strands. I've also worn this with this. It's a black braided cord. And this will change my look to a more casual, more mod, more hip look. See that? Very, very simple change. Same piece, totally different look. Now, watch what happens when I do this. Take this off, and then I take this collar look. It's so, I love this one because of the ease of it. And lots of ladies who have difficulty with clasps or with arthritis or something, they love this. They love this. These come in gold and also in this silver color, which is a platinum derivative called rhodium. And this one, all you got to do is pop it on. No clasp, nothing. And when you put this one on, it gives it a nice little shine. And it also lets the scroll work on this little connector piece really pop. Can you see that? So, now. I am going to make this into two parts because I don't want to have this cut off again. Um, I've recorded this already a couple times and I, I really want to get out what I want to share with you. So let me stop here just a mid thing and I'll do a little part two. Okay, so we're about halfway done and uh, I'll be right back. Thanks for staying with me. I'm Diane Hanks. <laughs>